very busy, always busy, always lots to do, lots to do, lots of different things to do. Translational research is basically taking it from the bench, so your scientific workbench, to the bedside, the patient's bedside. I speak to patients, I meet patients, I help the scientists and also other clinicians and registrars to process bloods, to consent patients. Uh, I write protocols for academic research. So yeah, I get around, I get to work everywhere. And I do like documentation, I like the T's to be crossed and the I's to be dotted and I like things to be perfect. I'm very much a control freak in that way. Anyway, my name's Maria Rasmussen-Dean. I work for Professor Gavin Giovannoni. I'm his research nurse as well as translational research manager. And I'm here to talk about smoking and whether smoking causes MS. And I've enlisted some help and hopefully she'll be behaving. If Mini Maria's behind me, I hope you're not smoking, Mini Maria. <coughs> <coughs> what do you think you're doing? Getting rid of that if it causes MS. I didn't say that. Did too. I did not. Did too. I did not. Anyway, let me tell you what I do know about smoking and MS. We all want an answer. Smoking causes MS. Well, that's not true. Smoking doesn't cause MS, but it's one of the risk factors. So, we all know what MS is, don't we? MS is an autoimmune disorder. Okay, so the body attacks itself. It attacks the brain and spinal cord. And Mini Maria's helping me show you that there. Okay, so what other risk factors are there? First risk factor is vitamin D deficiency, which Ram has spoken in huge detail about. Genes and family history play a part in MS. EBV, which stands for Epstein-Barr virus, is also a risk factor in MS. Where you were born, your country of birth, is a risk factor in MS. And also, your month of birth is a risk factor in MS. And smoking is just added to the whole gamut of risk factors. But even then, you may not get MS. So what did we do as a group? I actually can't take credit for this research. Actually, it was my colleagues, Ram, who's just spoken to you, and Ruth, who will be speaking shortly. And they basically looked at all the literature that was available out there and did what's called a meta-analysis. So they looked at 14 articles, and they were all used in this meta-analysis. Within those 14 articles, they used a group between 1960 and May 2010. The data was collected on 3,052 cases. 457,619 were controls. And the results, and I'm keeping it very simple, showed that smoking is associated with MS susceptibility. But the effect smoking has on the progression of the disease is still less certain. What we do know is that people who smoke, after they get a diagnosis of MS, carry on smoking. And there are other studies out there that show that people who carry on smoking, their MS does get worse. But we still don't know the mechanics behind that. And that's what Prof um, hinted on, that I may do my research in the next couple of years, smoking and MS and long-term studies. So we do know that further work is needed, and the mechanism behind this, this association and smoking integrates with other established risk factors. So we've talked about vitamin D and now smoking, and we'll go into other um, risk factors in more detail, and we know about EBV. For those people who are interested to find the article written by my colleagues Ram and Ruth, Smoking and Multiple Sclerosis, an updated meta-analysis, and it was a collaboration. So Minnie Maria again is going to help me tell you what she knows about MS and smoking. So, I need to get more vitamin D. I need to avoid Epstein-Barr virus. I can't have a parent with MS. 
I want to be born in the winter. I can't smoke. <laughs> but I could have all these risk factors and still not get MS. Or I could just be an Eskimo. So we've got the usual suspects in a lineup. But we can't say who is at fault, who is the one suspect that actually causes MS. Smoking is just one of those suspects in the lineup. We don't know what hand we're going to be dealt with. So if you've got all those risk factors, you can still get MS or not get MS. So we're not 100% sure.